Do I trust God? Does he give me a reason as to why I should trust him? These questions will help guide our discussion in this episode of Family Habits. Hello everyone and welcome to Family Habits. This week in your family devotional time, you will be looking at Isaac and his family. Now God wanted to see how much Isaac and his family relied on him, so he tested their faith. Sometimes they passed and things worked out wonderfully for them. Yet at other moments, they didn't trust God. So they took matters into their own hands and it got them in a lot of trouble. But God was able to work things out for the good. Even in Isaac and his family's failures, God could still be trusted. We can learn from their story that it is important to trust in God and seek out what He wants us to do. As Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 reminds us, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek His will in all you do, and He will show you which path to take. Now, trust is a big part of our lives. We rely on people all the time. Anyone who's a part of a team understands that you have to trust your teammates in order to have success in the game. Let's take football, for example. When a quarterback throws the football, he is trusting that the wide receiver is going to catch the ball. At the same time, when the receiver is running, he is trusting that the quarterback is going to throw it to the right spot. The same principle on trust applies in everyday life. Kids, you trust your parents will take care of you. You trust that they will provide your basic needs like food, water, clothing, and shelter. Parents, trust is a big part of your marriage. You trust that your spouse is going to support you, that they're going to do their part in caring for the kids and that they're going to be there to face the challenges of life with you. Now here's the problem. Sometimes the wide receiver drops the ball, or the quarterback throws a bad pass. Sometimes we fail. Sometimes trust gets broken. But someone you can always trust is God. I can trust God because He is always there. I can trust God because He knows and understands far more than I could ever know and understand. The Bible tells us in Isaiah 55, My thoughts are nothing like your thoughts, says the Lord, and my ways are far beyond anything you could imagine. For just as the heavens are higher than the earth, so my ways are higher than your ways, and my thoughts are higher than your thoughts. I can trust God and His plans for my life because He already knows everything about me, and He will never fail. This week, as a family, practice trusting in God. Think about how much time we spend worrying or doubting, whether it is a small matter such as, what's for dinner, or something as important as a career change. When you find yourself starting to worry, ask God to give you faith to trust Him. That's all for this episode of Family Habits. We'll see you next time.